done. Part two of my root canal is done, which is why I'm talking strangely. Uh, the other thing that is done is this bad boy. So it turns out that my printer had mass produced and it's thankfully not all needing editing. But this is now done, which means that I have still two thirds of the novel to go through to reread and add bits and pieces that need to be added. And then I'm going to read through it all again and send it off to the editor. And I got seven days to do that. But I did stay up till midnight last night to add the rest of the like apostrophes and grammatical things that I had missed, which can sometimes be a lot because I'm dyslexic, but it just seems to be that this time wasn't as bad as last time and certainly not as bad as the time before, but I'm basically just making the same errors over and over and over and over. But I think today I might go and just wait for sensation to come back to my face. So I guess we'll see how much pain I'm in when this wears off and how much more I can do today. So I have recovered from yesterday's root canal and predictably I didn't really do anything. I was expecting to feel like I had been run over by a truck which was why I had pushed to finish going through this the night before. Um, but I didn't actually feel too bad. But what I did do was go out for a nice long walk. I haven't done that in ages because it has been so windy down here. And I have really started to think that going for super long walks, like I'm talking an hour and a half, two hours, and trying to do that every day has actually really helped me kind of find a better place, obviously physically, but really mentally and trying to like deal with this year and I feel like I've really come out of the burnout now which is really nice. So there's still a little bit more to do and I've only got what's what have we got left? Six days and then I have to submit this for the final edits and basically I'm at the point where I'm just gonna go through um, the last two thirds and kind of edit and manipulate the bits that I needed to do now that I've done all the line edits and then I've got to go through and read it all again before I submit it. So there's still a lot to be done in the next six days. I'm gonna get my second Vi Pfizer jab tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna feel like shit tomorrow, but whatever. This is, this is the 2020s, man. They are weird, but there is something that I did that is unrelated to editing. So I probably shouldn't include it in this vlog, but I am going to. I don't really know what made me do this at like 11 o'clock last night. It's always at 11 o'clock. So I printed off some of my character art and I wasn't really expecting it to have much of an effect on me because obviously, you know, I've seen these images before. I ordered them and paid for them. I saw them, you know, on my computer and my phone and stuff and I've shared some of them on Instagram, at Pip Coombs. But it was really cool to like physically have them. It's something it's kind of like having the book and being able to hold the book makes it real and it's really cool to be able to see it come to life. So thought I would share that with you even though it's not related to editing, whatever. So that is done now. I am double vaxxed and heading home for a quiet day of editing. I think my poor little four year old niece is struggling in lockdown because this says, Why don't you come to my place? Ruby loves, and then I'm covering the, the place where I live. And then sent me all of this. So cute. Poor little poppet. Thankfully it turned out that part of this manuscript was actually a double print by the old printer. So hallelujah I don't have to go through this many pages. It's still a lot. It's 350 pages 
plus and about 150,000 words. So book three is still pretty big. And I've been reflecting on why I've been so hopeless with this editing process this time around and why I've been dragging my feet with it and why it's taken me so long to get here. And I just realized there have been so many bumps along the way. There's been COVID, I sold a business, I rented out my house, lockdown, I moved out of the city, my dog died, I had my face casually and gently rearranged by the local dentist, more COVID, lockdown, cooking for a family of five so that they don't have to cook while teaching other people's children and homeschooling their own for a few weeks, redecorating the house, having some fun, more COVID, and researching things extensively and excessively like narcissism so that you can have a character that really reflects that kind of personality disorder. I think actually the biggest thing that slowed me down, I mean 2020 was just a train wreck so I can forgive myself for that, but I think the biggest thing that slowed me down this year was having a completely different pattern. Last time I was editing a book, I was treating patients, I was running a practice, I was coming home and writing patient notes till 10 p.m. And so you would just be so desperate to write that you would do it from like 10 p.m. till midnight before you got up and did it all again the next day. And so you kind of had to be a bit more disciplined about getting it done if you ever wanted to get it done. Whereas this year I've kind of been, you know, initially I was so burnt out that just being happy was the primary goal and, and obviously I knew that Marley was towards the end of his life and I wanted to spend more time with him because I knew it was going to be over soon and I wasn't going to get that time back and I didn't want to have any regrets. And then that happened and you know we've been in lockdown and COVID and COVID and it, there's just been a lot of stuff that has gotten in my way and has stopped me from finding an equilibrium and has made me feel kind of resistant to writing and thankfully that seems to have kind of moved on now and I, I seem to be coming to a place where I am like wanting to write and wanting to get this book out and wanting to do it and it's not so much about yeah but I deserve to have time off, I deserve to be happy again, I, I, I need this for my sanity and getting to 5pm and being like what the hell have I done today? So that doesn't seem to be happening as much, which is nice. I seem to be able to focus on the task a little bit more, which is always good. But I think it just, like stopping working just took me time to adjust and it took me time to process everything that I was going through. And I just couldn't really be creative until I had kind of let go a little bit and let myself breathe. The other thing I was thinking about was that I actually used to be very much a nighttime writer and a nighttime editor. And so since I moved down to the Bay, I've been like, oh, let's go and explore and have fun during the day. And I'll write at night, like always. And when I'm here at night, I just want to chill out and, you know, cook dinner for people if COVID allows and hang out with friends if COVID allows and, you know, just do kind of homey things and relax and watch some movies and read a book and so that hasn't been terribly conducive to writing and so I guess I just kind of needed to get some stuff out of my system so that I could sit down and write and do this during the day because it turns out I was a night writer and editor by necessity because I had to be because I had a, a day job and it took hours to write patient notes at home and I mean obviously I could have written really crappy patient notes that took two seconds but you know <laughs> it took me a while to realize that maybe this needs to be a daytime activity for me as, as bizarre as that is for that to impact the process I think it really did
I am not gonna make my deadline because it's tomorrow and I haven't done anything. The only thing I have finished is my root canal. And I spent the whole time at the dentist trying not to sing Britney songs because Jamie's gone. And now the builders that are just outside this window are playing No Scrubs and it feels deeply appropriate. And so I'm not gonna do any editing. I'm gonna go get my jam on with my facial paralysis because that's where it's at. No scrubs, no scrubs. That's crazy. It's a little black crooked too. I've never seen one this close. Done. It's done. I'm done. I'm finished editing book three of the Phoenix series this time around. I sent my manuscript off to my editor last night and I felt a bit bad because I thought I was late and I kind of like just made myself finish it in the last two days and spent all day and all night working on it and finally wrote the synopsis which I've been putting off for months. Because I was kind of like, you know, I don't want to stuff around other people I'm a week late, just send it to him. And I knew that there had been a little wiggle room in that 1st of October deadline, but it turned out when I sent the email that we'd said first week of October, and yesterday was October 6th. So you know what that makes me? Bang on time. I've also been trying to get hold of my cover designer, which has proved very difficult. So I did some internet sleuthing and found one of the many pages she is listed on uh, that there was some recent activity and it said she wasn't available until November and that she would be away. So that would explain many things. I can't remember what date it was in November and I can't be bothered to sleuth again. So it probably means that assuming she can do the third book again, which hopefully she can because otherwise I got bigger problems, um, that this book should be out by sometime in December. Uh, I'm not really willing to set a date and I know people generally do pre-orders but I feel like it's already been the better part of two years between this book and the last book so just put it the fuck out there but when it comes back I'm gonna have to read through it obviously again to see what changes he's made and and see which ones I'm taking on board and do the line edits and all of that sort of thing but then once that's done I've got to read through it all again to make sure I'm happy with it then I'll send it off, get uh, an actual hard copy, read it again because I haven't read it enough and because you've kind of got to check that the paperback, you know, formatted okay because I've had issues with the ebook and I've had to do some reformatting of the ebook. So I think by the time I get there, I will be so done, it's unreal because right now if you made me read it again, I'd claw my eyes out. As soon as I get to the point where I'm gonna claw my eyes out if I have to read it again, I know it's ready. I was thinking that perhaps one of the reasons why I've struggled to get going with this book and editing it in the last couple of months is because I've been with this book for so long. As I've said, maybe like, two, three, 15 times by now. This book has been ready for this level of editing for 18 months, maybe more, maybe two years. And that means that I've been with it for that long, plus the time before where I was writing it. And so I think I've just been with this book for way too long and I know I've been desperate to move on to the next books. And that was last year also why I couldn't make myself edit because you know life was hard enough and I was like I just want to move on but then I kind of anyway note to self don't spend too long with the next one and just be more efficient and get it done because the only person who's being punished by dragging it out is me and that is because I've really done any marketing or anything and I probably won't really do any marketing until I have maybe like four books out and it's kind of moments like these where I'm glad that I didn't do any marketing because I would have spent money on generating readers and then they would have had to wait two years for the third book. And I don't really think that's fair. So I probably won't do much in the way of marketing until I get to book four because then at least they've kind of got a back catalog to go through. Um, and I feel like the last two books will probably happen pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, 
So that's where things are at. I'm done and hella fucking luya because I'm so ready to do something else. The last couple of days have been beautiful weather and I have forced myself to stay inside and edit and we're about to go into another patch of raining for a week. So I'm gonna go and celebrate by running outside and playing at the beach and planting a vegetable patch and doing all the outside things. So I will see you guys on the other side. So yeah, I'm out. See you next time.